Sonny, can you tell me about your jewelry? Yeah, the jewelry, uh, I was, I started making jewelry uh, back in 1974 uh, because I, 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 I like art, you know, I like creating things and so and so, you know, even like dancing and singing and mostly dancing, but jewelry making is, you know, it's an art itself, you know, and everybody's got their own own style of making jewelry, you know, some, some, uh, there's ladies that make jewelry, there's men jewelers and, and so and so, but uh, I was self-taught and uh, I, I burned a lot of silver <laughs> while I was teaching myself yeah. because heat is very, you have to control the heat, when to pull away because silver will just melt just like a certain heat, it just melts just like, yip, it's gone, you ruined it, you know. And so you, you uh, can't reuse it, you can't melt it and use it again? Well, you can use it, but, you know, to make a bracelet or a ring, something like that, if it melts, you it, it, it's, you ruined it. Start over you know? from the beginning. Yeah, you have to start all over, and uh, it's a good thing that silver was $2.50 an ounce when I first started. Now it's like $25 an ounce, you know, so it's expensive, getting expensive, you know. Yeah. So, uh, uh, but uh, a lot of people make uh, orders for them to fit, you know, people come in different sizes, the, the wrists, you know, so I, I do uh, custom orders at times, but I don't, I don't try to do that. But if people want it, I, I can do it. Yeah. So, but it slows down what I really want to do, you know. Yeah. My jewelry, just make it straight across. Yeah. You know? So this is some of my work <clears throat> here. And the, the web, the, the, the spider web. Uh, Kingman spider web. This is nice turquoise here. Nice, very, very, very nice. You know, it's somewhat of top of the line type of thing. And so it, 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 it's a lot of it's a lot of work. Yeah. And the way I work with is, uh, is having music. Music keeps you entertained. Yeah. And uh, uh, sometimes you have to be in a mood to make and jewelry, art. It's because it's a piece of an art. Yeah. And, and it keeps you going with music. And sometimes I forget to turn on the radio. Then I, I snap a little bit, I go and turn on the radio and keep it going. And the most that you can work probably like three, four hours, about three hours. Now, years ago, I could sit there all day and make jewelry, you know. What happens? Your back get tired? Uh, your eyes, because you're concentrating with the eyes and and uh, plus uh, uh, sitting down. You know, you have to take a break. You have to get up and do other things. Uh, go get some water or go for lunch or anything that a human being does, you know, to keep them going. You yeah, know? being human. <laughs> what so, kind of music do you listen to when you're doing it? Music, I, I, I like to make the uh, old classic from the, from the 80s and the 70s and, you know. Like Twisted Sister? Twisted Sister? I never heard of her. <laughs> <laughs> Cindy Lauper? <laughs> uh, Dylan, I like Dylan. Bob Dylan. Yeah, Bob Dylan, you know. And uh, uh, just a bunch of uh, uh, music that's mixed rock and roll back in the 70s, yes. uh, 80s, and so and so, you know. Yeah. And, but uh, but just in, in general, I, I'd like to just just listen to music, something, something in the background, noise or yeah. something that way, but, but if I would, I would select it, it would be rock and roll type of thing, because I was, sometime I even play uh, country and western music on, I put on a tape those cassettes yeah I still have those cassettes yeah yeah <laughs> I got your own mixed cassettes Did yeah, you know, my, yeah my cassettes you know they're little square things yeah, yeah. I, I do those and but going back to the jewelry I I go on uh, 
uh, up to Colorado and uh, to, to get uh, the stones. Or sometimes they come here to Taos, sell me stones, and I, I buy stones from them. But you get really spoiled when there's good, nice stones. And you don't want to buy the lower end because you know your stones. You know, and I, I tend to buy the really good stones, but uh, uh, and those are hard to sell, you know, because some people don't know their stones, and some people, man, they're real king on stones, and they they know their they know that the, the, the stones. Silver has got nothing to do with with uh, the the quality. It's how you make the jewelry, mm. how you stamp it, how you curve it, how how you design it. You know, and silver is very flexible to to work with. So you just um, uh, you just go on with with your work with you know the years that you had experienced, the background and and. All that, all that stuff that you do, the, yeah. the knowledge that you have, you know, the knowledge you just put it to work, yeah. you know. So that's, this is, uh, I do mostly bracelets. I do rings like this, a lot of rings. And that has that, that pattern on the stone on the ring that you said. Yeah, yeah, the, the spider web, the spider web, you know. And a lot, lot of people like this uh, spiny oyster shell. Now it's very popular, and and uh, and, and so and so. But turquoise is number one. People come in from the southwest, going coming into southwest. People from New York, California, Florida, and yeah. all over the world. Actually, we get a lot of people from Japan. Very distinctly they southwest. Buy, so. They buy. They buy well. You know the Japanese. Yeah, the Japanese. You know, I, I I know quite a few of them. I've been invited to go over there, but I haven't gone yet. Oh, you're gonna have to go. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe someday. You know, I'm not in a hurry. Did you I know? hear you say before that you actually prefer dancing over jewelry making? Uh, no. Uh, well, dancing is uh, an art. I've been dancing since a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone to Europe, I've, I've gone, I've danced all over the United States, you know, New York, California, Florida, and, and different places, uh, outside, indoors, on stage, and uh, uh, Washington, D.C. several times. Are you with a group or is it Yeah, the group, yeah. Is it people from the Pueblo? People from the Pueblo, yeah. So with, uh, and, uh, to Europe, Germany, Poland, Switzerland. You've been all over the world, but you don't go to Japan yet. <laughs> I haven't gone to Japan. I've, I have not been to the Grand Canyon. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> but I plan to go to the Grand Canyon. You can almost see it. Soon, there. almost, <laughs> you know, one, just one day drive, you can be in uh, the, the Grand Canyon, the North Ridge, you know. But, you know, but that's, I think in a way that's, that's so easy to do that someday I'll do it, you know. But, uh, but traveling, going to, to, to Europe, is, uh, it's more exciting, something. Just get your adrenaline going, you yeah. know. See something really alien and new. Yeah. They get, uh, uh, one time we went to Germany and we, we danced in, 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 uh, in Hamburg and uh, all these German people started coming, and and they were from a. Uh, they have a club there, you know, the German people. So they invited us to go to their, where they have a meeting, you know, like a hall. And they have real eagle feathers. I was just totally blown away. How in the world did they get real eagle feathers? And but beautiful costume. I mean, those guys are, and. Uh, they're serious about dancing and uh, Native American ways of doing things. So these are German guys who the German people and they dance in traditional yeah Native American styles. They have styles. they have costumes. They have but it's really impressive type of costume. They take their time. 
and they do serious work. Even the Italians, they they have Indian clubs there, you know, Native American club, because I, I guess they like the culture. They like uh, they like the 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 way of uh, of uh, the way people lived many years ago, uh, 150, 200 years ago. The native people out in the plains and the the people in the southwest, the Pueblo, the Pueblo people, and uh, people in Oklahoma up through the Dakotas, Montana, and throughout Canada. You know, but the uh, uh, I think they were attracted to that, so that's how they got started with their Indian clubs, of all places, Germany. Yeah, right. <laughs> these are like blue eye blonde hair, white guys. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. But the costume is just, I mean, it's right. They got it down to the T. Do they dance too? Yeah. And they, do they it well? dance. They they do everything. The only thing, I think, is the singing part. They haven't got that down, you know. But I think they do it with uh, tapes, recordings, and so on. So, but they, they they're really serious about doing things. Yeah. And, you know, That's we did a TV show there too in in, in Hamburg. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so you get to go see them, and they get to see you. Everybody's yeah. happy. Yeah, we did a documentary here on Taos, and it's shown on on, on national television in, in Germany. And I went over there to do a TV talk show. And we sit under those lights for two hours, because you know they don't have breaks like here. You know, commercial breaks. They do the oh. commercial first, and then they do the interview. Oh. You know, they do the commercials like for like maybe eight, ten minutes, yeah. and the rest of the time, that hour, it belongs to the show. Mm. They don't have like cutting in. You know, so. They do all kinds of things similar to that type of, you know, entertainment, you know. And when they, they showed me on TV, the funniest thing about it, I spoke very good Deutsch. Oh, you do? I did, because they dubbed my voice. Oh. <laughs> 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 they dubbed it, you know. And I, man, I was really good in, in German, you yeah. know, and, uh, with the Deutsch, you know, Deutsch, Deutschland. Yeah. But anyhow, are you are are you open to more opportunities like that? Like if people contacted you to come and dance or sing or oh yeah, I would absolutely I would go. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Just yeah, waiting I, for opportunities, right? Doors yeah, open. I would I would get some of the guys. We're going to Germany. We're going to blah 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 wherever yeah. uh, in in a month or or so. Get your passport ready and some like, and some people are really good travelers. And some people are not so good travelers, you know. But, uh, but uh, just to go to to see other countries, different cultures, it's very important that, that when you come back to Taos, you how much you appreciate your culture, you know, because you experience their culture, their food, the way of living, the language. The way they live, everything else, you know, the, the streets are even different, you know, cobblestones, right. cobblestone streets, you know. Yeah. Here we have a blacktop. Yeah. Yeah. So. But you have adobe buildings. <laughs> adobe buildings, yeah. Yeah, true, yeah. Did you see any adobe buildings in Germany? No. They uh, didn't make one? Uh. No. <laughs> uh, no, they have, actually they had a lot of ruins from World War II still standing. You know, like in Berlin, they had, they had uh, this church that was was bombed out, and they left those there to remind people, so they won't forget that there was a war here, terrible things happened, so they keep those, those uh, bombed out buildings, still showing, today. Memorials to memory. Yeah, memory. So it won't, they won't forget. You know. It was terrible, they said, you know, some of, some people, the elders that I talked to, yeah. you know, but. So how do people find you, either for jewelry or for uh, performance opportunities? Uh, do you have a web I think jewelry, yeah. jewelry. Right. Yeah, how do some, people contact you, though? Do you have, like, a web page or something? Well, I'm under, uh, uh, 
uh, what do you call that? Uh, that uh, I'm on the the website, and it's, uh, it's I can't think of that 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 company that that sells jewelry and so and so. And so and, but I'm on there. Is it Etsy? Etsy. That's Etsy. Okay. Etsy. Yeah, that Etsy. I can't. I couldn't think of that Etsy. So yeah. they just look up your name, Sunny Spruce. Sunny Spruce Jewelry. And they'll find you. Etsy, and they, they'll come out like, you know. Uh, and they can order direct from you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or they can walk into the store here. Or they talks. could walk right here. What's the name of this place? Uh, uh, Taos Pueblo of Fine Arts. Oh, okay. Yeah, so McCarty Plaza, okay. Taos, New Mexico. Yeah. But as soon as the Pueblo opens, we're going to divide some of the stuff and take it to the Pueblo and, and, uh, because there's more traffic out at the Pueblo. Just tons of people come out there, you know, big old tour buses. And, and uh, sometimes there's so many cars out there, they can't find a place to park them. Yeah. yeah and, you know, especially those tour buses, you know, right. so. There's people out there at eight in the morning, yeah. till five, yeah. all day. You know, and it's, it's pretty good. Good. So, thank you, Sonny. You're welcome. <laughs>